story and yeah, no, Mr. Cordo is going to be an too. amazing young man over the weekend, a young man called Israel Adiboga and his mum Rebecca and a young uh, professor, a young professor called Professor Christian Maffedon. Now, Professor Christian Maffedon, we all know on the show, don't we? Uh, but the young man was... Well, for anyone that doesn't know Professor Christian Maffedon, who is he? Let me explain a little bit. Professor Chris is a child prodigy family, uh, very, very, very intelligent. And let me read my little promo. It says, exclusive to Sunrise, it was over the weekend. Now, we had some technical issues with this problem, uh, but we'll see what we can do today. 11-year-old Israel Adiboga says he prepared for his A-levels in just 14 days. <laughs> and he came across so nice and so polite mm -hmm. and so well-mannered. And he was dressed in his, his shirt and his suit. 10, 11 years old, and my daughter's 10. And I couldn't help but kind of go, wow, this is young man so well balanced. And his mum was uh, so lovely. And Professor Chris runs an excellence in education program in the UK. And he, according to his uh, CV, is a, let me see, I'll read it to you, a director of excellence in education program, is an advisor to governments, presidents, and monarchs. And he, he, he's a very well-connected uh, gentleman, and he has certain views about education. Mm -hmm. And this young man, Adi, uh, Israel Adiboga, uh, he was identified quite early in his life for having skills with maths and counting. At preschool, he could count to 20. Wow. So obviously he was gifted at an early age, mm -hmm. but he's been able to bring that forward and pass his A level at the age of 11. But what is still remarkable to me, it sticks into my mind, is this comment he made about the fact that uh, I prepared for my A levels at il uh, for in 14 days. <laughs> 14, how long did it take you? It took me a lot longer than that. What did it take Definitely, you? Definitely, I can't remember. It was a lot it, of it, effort. And yet days. he said, oh no, I said, surely you've been working very hard and not having much fun. Oh no, absolutely not. <laughs> And he spent, I think it was maybe two to three hours every Saturday uh, with uh, Professor Chris in Mafferton at his Excellence in Education programme. Now, we do have a, a little um, clip to show you, uh, but there is a quality let's just issue. Put, yeah, let's watch it first, let's just and then watch when we come back, we'll discuss more about that. Let's see if we can show you that clip first. He's set on the set of Sunrise on my sofa. I'm an amazing couple of people here. I have, first of all, uh, Mrs. Rebecca Adiboga. Hello, ma'am. How are you? And I have your son, Israel. How are you? Good. Thank you. Now, your son has been making some headlines lately, hasn't That's he? Right. Can you tell me why? Well, um, he passes GCSE when he was eight years old, and um, he just passes A-levels as well. So, he's been making some headlines. At the age of? Eleven. Eleven years old. I mean, <laughs> that's a remarkable achievement. Congratulations. Thank you. Eleven years old, A-level. You're obviously a very smart young man. Yes. Have you, always, have, you, have you always been smart? <laughs> is it, are you a genius? Is it, were you born this way or what? Well, it's always been um, like that since he was a baby. Um, when he was in nursery, we identify that he has interest in numbers and um, he was doing puzzles. At very nursery early level. At mm. the nursery level. So we just help him to nurture that talent he's got. So we're supposed him to different things that will encourage his learning. So while he's playing, he stayed like puzzles, you have to think, um, logic. So he was doing all that, and um, that has helped him a lot. So by the time he was going to year two, um, I got to know about the Imafidos because of the success, everything no, they've that's done. That's Professor Chris Professor and Maffedon, and, and we know that that's a child prodigy family. That's correct. And they're both pretty clever people, aren't they? That's we know right. them on some so, yeah. It was just a matter of, oh, because they've done it, um, they can mentor him. Because as far as, um, as a family, we know every child is good, is the way you expose them to and the way you support them. So we you have been listening to Professor Chris, haven't you? <laughs> no, it was just um, our upgrading as okay. well, the way right. we were younger okay. as well. That was the way my parents was like, if yeah. you want to do something, we support you. And that was what we did for Israel okay. as well. So Israel, I mean, you're obviously very smart. You're looking very handsome this morning. Thank you. And you have an A-level now at the <laughs> tender age of 11. Yes. I mean, how, what did you attribute all this to, this, this success you've been having? Well, it took, I had to be determined, like, before anything else, I had to make my mind up that I was going to do this and that I was going to put all the effort into it. So has it been a lot of effort? I mean, you're a Christian man, aren't you? Yes. Right? So you're a Christian brother. Well done. Uh, what, has your faith helped you in this matter? Oh, very much. It helps me to, it motivates me to carry on moving. 
For example, my favorite scripture is Philippians 4.13, yes, well that through Christ all things is possible. Amen. So f with that, I'll just keep on going knowing that Christ is with me. So tell me, have you had, do you mind, Mama, I've got to ask, have you had a normal childhood? Do you play games? I mean, my kids are always playing games. Oh, yes. You, well, uh, yeah. there's, no, there's no denying that uh, you have um, achieved something that not many people do. So you are a, a, a more than a, you're more than a victor, aren't you? Um, so what's the future? What's the kind of future for you, young man? Well, when I grow up, I want to become a CEO, so and scientist. So all my like dreams are put to that. Wow, I'm just I, I'm just amazed by you. I'm so pleased to know you. And one of these days, when you really are famous and you're CEO, remember you've been on Sunrise, and I shall be very supportive of you all, all for the rest of your life. I'm sure. Thank you so much for coming on my show. Thank you very much. And that you'll be watching Sunrise on Love World TV. Thank you. Well, there you go. That was the young man, Israel Adiboga, and uh, his mum. And they had such a good relationship in that program. Now, this young man, Israel, is also a member of the Royal Opera House, as he, as he talked about. He's a pianist. He sings. And he can play really pretty good chess. He can he, he play a game. I forget what the game was called, but you saw it on the table there. Um, they were going to explain it, but it's so complicated to me. So I thought it's not really something you can fit in a three minute little clip there. But they, they basically learn through play. Hmm. And he said at the beginning of his little interview that at the beginning, I had to decide that I wanted to do it. Now, obviously, this was a couple of years ago. Uh, maybe when he was, I think he was seven when he passed his GCSE. Wow. And so in three years, he decided he would go and try to uh, be an A-level level student and he would try and get that done. And he said, I had to decide to be determined myself. And he's a Christian man. And he said, uh, my favourite passage, I love this man. He said, my favourite passage was, uh, um, uh, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Beautiful. And it just said, oh, it just meant a lot to me, my, my Christian faith. And it, was just, it came across so well. Mm -hmm. Is it, what, what do you think about this kind of uh, achievement? I think, it's, such I think it's amazing to see um, young children achieving so well. Um, obviously, he's an intelligent young man.